Hi everybody, this is Vincent Lobo and I'm back again with a, a new video. This time it's about finding nth root in a simple calculator. I mean, we all know students how to find, you know, square roots. For example, 25 square root is you just press square root symbol, you get the answer. If it is 144, you just find the square, press the square root symbol, you get the answer is 12. Okay, 100, you just press square root, you get the answer is 10. But what about, you know, fourth root of 81, cube root of 343, fifth root of 1024. Can we find this using you know this simple calculator definitely we can let's see how we can do it there are five steps in it step one is key in the number and press square root 12 times step two is you know minus one step three is divide it by n now what is n n is nothing but nth root okay if it's fourth root divide by four if it's fifth root divide by five if it's tenth root divide by ten step four is again add one and final step is nothing but press into and equal to 12 times Students, you can do this for cube root, fourth root, fifth root, any root, if they ask you, just by using a simple calculator. Now, why is it important? It's important for students, you know, with ICI exams or any competitive exams where cal calculators are allowed, but not scientific calculators are allowed. And how do you do and find the answer? So let's check for the first one, fourth root of 81. Okay, we should get the answer as three. So let's check. So first, what's the step one step one says you know key in the number and press square root 12 times so let me key in the number 81 okay and i'll press i'll press square root 12 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay what is step two step two says minus one okay so press in the calculator minus one next Step three says divided by n. Now in the first question, students, n is four, right? Fourth root, right? So I'll divide by four. Okay, so divide by four. Done. Next is step four, which says plus one. So I'll do plus one. Now the final step, okay, very important. It says step five, press into and equal to, that is multiplication and equal to 12 times. Now be careful, you have to count, okay? So see here, multiplication, one time, two time, same way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You get three point zero zero one three something, you know. You can ignore it. The answer is three. Ignore the approximations. The answer is three. You can do it for anything. Check this one now. I'll just quickly do this. Cube root of three hundred and forty three. So first is press the number three hundred forty three. Okay, next is square root 12 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, done. Next is minus 1. Next is divide by n. Here n is 3 now, so I'll divide by 3. Divide by 3. Okay, next step is plus 1. Okay, plus 1 is done. Now into equal to 12 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 12 7.00 something it's your answer 7 okay everyone if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you everyone see you in the next video bye bye